our philosophy at the Flat Yarders, we're trying to create what is Australia's cuisine. So we're using the Aussie bush tucker as our, our point of difference, as our, our talking point, and really showcasing those local growers and producers and yeah, putting that into a fine dining aspect here at the restaurant. Ultimately, you know, it's, it's about bringing down the kilometres on the food. This region here, I think, you know, is, is growing some amazing stuff. We do a lot of our shopping at the farmers markets on a Wednesday. Um, so to be able to have that flow on effect from the grower, the producer, to a fine dining aspect, all here in the Pioneer Valley in the Mackay region. It's really opened my eyes, you know, I wasn't aware of Freckle Farm and, you know, Youngladale Milk, you know, I didn't know about any of this until moving back to the region, so it was quite a, uh, an eye-opener and um, great to see some, some local people really showcasing what they do best. This year has been quite a good, re you know, growing conditions for uh, especially guys like Jock up at Younger Lorraine Forest Grown Finger Limes. You know, he's had some amazing produce. We've probably had 15 to 20 kilos of finger limes off him this year. And, uh, you know, a little bit later on down the track, we'll pour our uh, house-made cider through Goena Brewery using uh, Jock's finger limes. COVID-19 has had a, a drastic, you know, downturn on us. We've had to close the doors, um, put our business into hibernation. Um, and really just take a step back and, and focus on, you know, developing the business and how we are going to reopen on the other side. If we were in town, it might have been a bit of a different story. We could look into the takeaway side of things, but unfortunately, being a little bit isolated out here, you know, it has its picks and perks of living in the valley, but it was only four months the business had been open, so there was a lot of hard yards and a lot of work that went in with my partner and myself, and the feedback was fantastic. Only 2% of all Aussie bush tucker commercial is Indigenous owned. So we've uh, stumbled across a company called Wild Foods from Meningrida in Arnhem Land. Uh, everything is wild harvest. So community are going out on country, wild harvesting green ants, wild bush apples, kakadu plum, um, and we're buying direct from community. Uh, we had our first order just after Christmas time. We're finding a lot of this bush tucker um, is extremely healthy, cancer fighting, high in omega-3s and you know some really good stuff. So good food, something that's good for your body and instead of mass produced, everything's made from scratch from our stocks and our sources to filleting whole fish to breaking down whole sirloins. So we have an entree of coral trout coming from Emma at Shore Fresh Seafood. Uh, that's served with some pickled shaved fennel. We made a fish bone broth emulsion, crustacean oil, and of course, the Yungla rainforest grown finger lime. main course we have the freckle farm beef so two cuts of beef on your plate we have a sirloin and a slow braised rib plate it's served with a bunyanut puree so we've wild harvest up in Yungla uh, some bunyanuts up there so Miles took us out to some big old trees that he knows of uh, found some bunyanuts there so there'll be a bunyanut puree pickled wild rosella sea fern and a red wine jus dessert. Um, so when we had our big glut of finger limes come through from Jock, we sort of were, you know, a bit of brainstorming. What are we going to do with all these finger limes? So we decided we'd, uh, we'd make an ice cream, see how it turned out. So we have a base flavour of finger lime, Davidson plum and strawberry gum ice cream that's served on a wild puffed rice, mun trees, also known as an emu apple, uh, which is a native little bush apple, probably about the size of my little fingernail, quite small, four times the antioxidants to blueberries. We have some caramelised white chocolate and garden marigold flowers. Enjoy your tucker and let's get some tucker on the table. 